It is time for more Hirogaru Sky Precure spoilers! Hello everyone, it's Lau, and in this video we're gonna check out some episode summaries from Hirogaru Sky and also the title of episode 27. First of all, just wanna say Inu and Ranzei, thank you so much for translating the summaries to us. And second thing is, we have summaries for 24 and 25. We don't have a summary for 23, unfortunately, which is this weekend, we're very close to it. We're probably getting a summary for it tomorrow from the, the, the TV guides. And we don't know exactly what's gonna happen with Shala, which is a good thing. It's gonna make us very excited. But uh, from then on, we do have some uh, hints of what's gonna happen. There is also one thing that isn't very clear in episode 25. They were also need a little bit more context for it to make sense to us, but we're gonna discuss that along the video. So let's go, spoiler time! Obviously, as we know, episode summaries will always contain spoilers for the next few episodes from Hirogaru Sky. Let's talk about episode 24 first. In this episode, the girls are gonna go to Skyland. Oh, the title of the episode, as we've previously seen, is Morning Star, Elton's Secret. So the, in this episode, which is it's obviously after episode 23, Shalala will probably be saved somehow if she wasn't, I mean, this was probably going to be related to her, etc. And there's another thing. They are going to complete the Kira Kira potion. So in episode 24, the girls are going to go to Skyland and there they are going to use the Kira Kira potion on Elle's parents, and Elle's parents will wake up. Because of that, the cures are going to be considered heroes in Skyland, and a pre-cure parade will be held. Um, one thing I'm very excited for in this episode is Agha, because Agha hasn't been to Skyland yet. She knows what's going on, she knows what happened to Elle's parents, but she's never been there before. It's gonna be her first time in Skyland, so this will make me super, super excited. Now, after the parade, Elle will be spending some time with her parents in their room, the king and the queen. There will be a weekend. They will probably be super happy to see Elle again. But something mysterious is going to happen. Suddenly, a purple light will appear from Elle's chest. Girl, this summary, <laughs> this summary does not tell us much. This summary just tells us that uh, the battle is won, the Kira Kira potion is full, the girls are gonna prob are probably gonna find another way of saving Shala. I was believing that they were gonna use the potion on her, but no, they're gonna use it on Elle's parents, they're gonna wake up, and her Elle's chest will beam this purple light and something will happen. We don't know what this secret is based on the summary. We're gonna have to wait for the episode. The king and queen will probably tell us her secret. Will she grow up? What What's gonna happen to her? Will she get a mirage pen of her own in this episode? We don't know. I am just very, very excited. Now let's talk about episode 25. Episode 25 will bring us a new Underg Empire villain, an Underg Empire minion. And uh, we, or some of us, were theorizing that Shala was going to be the next villain. Baby, we were not right. The next villain will be called Minoton. I think based on the name that he is going to be inspired by a Minotaur. Minotaur? Minotaur? I don't know. Minotaur, and I'm very excited to see him. Girl, you know, if you know, you know, if you know, you know, but uh, he's probably going to be inspired by a Minotaur. We're going to see him in episode 25. And in this episode, the girls are going to go to the zoo. And uh, I think maybe after episode 24, they're going to come back to Earth. There is no reason for Elle, so far, there is no reason for Elle to not stay with her parents in Skyland. But I feel like her secret in episode 24 will make her stay with the girls for security reasons or for other reasons we don't know. But she will probably, she will come back to Earth with the girls because episode 25 is already here, it seems. Because in this episode, which is called Exciting, Princess, let's go to the zoo. Uh, in this episode, Sara and the girls are going to go to a nature park uh, to check out the animals. There are lots of animals like giraffes and elephants. 
and they notice that L has an ability to talk to animals. And when they notice that, uh, they tell L that she has to pay more attention to her food, to what she eats, and also to her lessons. What lessons? Hmm, I wonder what they mean by that. But there is another hint in episode 20, 27 title, which, we're get, which we'll, we, we will get there. But then, when they're talking to Elle about her lessons and her food, a new villain appears, and he is called Minoton. Exciting! Episode 24 will probably not have a battle. Um, Elle's secret is probably going to be the whole theme of the episode, and I wonder if we're going to see something about... Uh, Skyland, Elle's origins, and the Under Empire story as well in this episode. I don't know. Uh, we also have the, the title for episode 26, which we've already seen before. Take Off, Feelings Connected by an Airplane, and episode 27, which is a new title, which is Exciting Lessons with the Mirror Pad. Mirror Pad is the... Uh, the, the beautiful item that they were collecting uh, the energy with for the Kira Kira potion, and now they're going to have lessons with it. I feel like those lessons are the lessons that El-Chan will be having uh, in episode 25 that they mention in the, in the summary for episode 25, and maybe episode 27 will be the focus. Uh, one lesson specifically will be the focus. This obviously reminded me of Miss Shamur from Go Princess, the legend of Go Princess. I love Miss Shamur so much. I am crazy about her. I love her. And I wonder what type of lessons uh, there, uh, Elle is going to have with the mirror pad. I think it's related to Elle. And I wish, I just wish it was something related to All Stars. Like maybe she's learning the story of past cures or things like that. Imagine how exciting that would be. I feel like that would also connect with the mirror pad toy, which is full of All-Stars stuff in it, like with uh, cures from other seasons and such. So I wish this lesson is somewhat about the past cures. And this episode, episode 27, is the first episode from August. So another very interesting thing as well. So I feel like uh, July is going to be interesting. We don't know uh, if episode 26 is related to Wang, or is related to something else. Maybe it's related to L, because everything seems to be related to her. Episode 24, 25, and 27 seem to be related to her. Maybe 26 is also related to L. We don't really know. Maybe it's Tsubasa L, a Tsubasa L episode. We don't know. And 27 might be an Ageha L episode, because, you know, Ageha being a nursery school teacher or studying to be one makes a lot of sense with my fantasy of her and L uh, for. for Teaching something, teaching L something like he te like she teaches her students. So I feel like very very interesting next steps. A new villain in episode twenty five. Very excited to see him. And uh, overall, I feel like um, twenty three will be a big episode for Sada for sure. And I am gonna be honest. It's nice we don't have the summary for it. And even if we did, I don't think it would tell us much. Just like 24, it just tells that the, the cures are going to go to Skyland and Elle's parents are going to be uh, revived, not revived, healed. Uh, which is a big thing already. We didn't know how they would use the, the Kira Kira potion. If they were, I thought they were going to use it on Shalala, but they're going to use it on Elle's parents. So I wonder how they're going to save Shalala. Girl, this is making me so curious. And what is that purple light that is going to beam from Elle's chest out of nowhere? In episode 24. Is she gonna grow up? Kind of like Hachan. Remember? Mahot Sky Precure that she grows up. Like. In stages. Is it that? Girl I'm so curious. I don't think that's the case. But. That might be it. Surprises. Might be incoming for us. Anyways babies. This is it for now. I'm gonna take this time to thank the members. Of the Magical Cinema channel. If you are a member. Thank you very much for your support. If you've watched up channel, thank you so much as well. Thank you, Inu and Ranze from the translations again. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.